Hello, uh, welcome to another problem session. Today we have a problem in, uh, um, you know, mechanics, which is uh, where you throw a ball and ball lands and then comes back up and it goes on bouncing uh, away from you instead of a uh, ball, just you drop it and bounces up and down the same line. So it's, so it's a, makes a projectile motion, but it's uh, going on and on and on because it keeps bouncing off. So first thing to uh, notice that it is, uh, I have it covered, my solution, because I'd already recorded it, but my recording did not work right. Uh, I just didn't record uh, some software and then I record again and software again gave me trouble. Uh, maybe I've reset everything, so probably will work fine. But I've got the uh, slide and I'll just walk you through the solution. You may want to try to do this problem yourself. So um, in order to walk you through the solution, here is the picture to keep in mind uh, that uh, the ball comes in with some V0 at 30 degrees and then it kind of bounces off like this and another bounce and then it continues at infinitum. Uh, this angle is a 30 degrees and this V0 is 25 meter per second. That's what given over here. Okay. And then as it uh, uh, comes back, uh, comes back uh, in in first bond, it covers this in D1. Another bond covers this in D2. So what we're supposed to find is uh, all the D1 plus D2 plus D3. So, so <coughs> you can see the uh, symmetry in the situation. If I can figure out the formula for D1, I would be, mm, uh, I will have a formula for D2 and so on and so forth. So I should be able to sum this somehow, okay? But the key of all of this is this, what's the, um, when it bounces, what is the relationship of this uh, speed to this speed? And that's given in the coefficient of restitution. And the coefficient of restitution has a whole bunch of uh, caveats here, right? In the definition itself, you got to know it has to do with um, uh, two, uh, 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 two things colliding. So what are the two things colliding here? It's the ball and the floor. And the floor is at rest. And the ball is moving. So the relative velocity will be this velocity, which is this angle, to the velocity of the flow, the zero. But I need to get a perpendicular component of it. So if I convert this into the geometry I have, it will be the y component after the bounce versus y component before the bounce. And so if you work out the y component based on this angle, you get the same thing as speeds v1 and v0. So the speed after is actually, uh, we're going to use the letter rho for the restitution just for, you know, so it's simple as it stands out. Okay. Uh, and so I'll get a v1 to v0 ratio will be, the speed ratio will be just rho. And similarly, if I look at over here, V2 to V1 will be also rho. So I can use this V1 from here, and then you can have a rho square V0. So I, I seem like all the speeds I can write down in V0. So over here, over here, I'm going to work out, uh, work out one of the D1s, say D1. So the D1, to work out D1, I just need to look at the one full bounce, okay? And in full bounce, and try the uh, try the y and x-axis, and this is d1. This is the initial point, and this is the final point. Um, well, um, if you look at the time delta y part, that's zero, and you use this equation with no drag and t can't be zero, t zero has to do with a point this place, I want t at this point, at this point. and this is going to be two times v1y, 
because we're dealing with V1 and uh, the Y component of this V1 will be, you know, if this is theta, it's going to be sine theta, but I do just leave it like a V1 Y and D1 will be, there's no acceleration in that direction. So whatever the initial velocity is, is V1 X times this time T. So I plug in here. And so this is the range. You might remember this formula. It's also called range, horizontal range in projectile motion. But you don't really have to remember this formula. I actually almost always work it out. I, for some reason, I don't remember this. I kind of guess it, uh, having seen it so many times. But if you don't say, remember, that's okay. You just have to work this out. It might take a couple of minutes, but it's worth working it out. So that's, we know what D1 looks like. So in this formula, this is the only thing that depends on this bounce. Everything is the same for all other bounces because this angle is going to be the same in every bounce. So we got the formula for all Ds in terms of their Vs. And so I'm going to go back to my D. I'm going to go, go back to my Ds and try to plug that in and uh, carry out the calculation uh, and uh, and then you can see that uh, so carry out the calculation and it's all you can um, rather readily you can see uh, I can have v1 square common with everything and then one plus rho square plus rho square square. So rho square is that X of the geometric series. And uh, if X is less than one, I know this series will be one over one minus X if, if it goes ad infinitum. And which is, uh, which is the case, X is less than one. And so I can write down like that. And so now we put the numbers and work it out. This is whopping 235 meter. So I think I, I took this 25 meter per second. That's pretty, uh, pretty uh, good speed. And the reason I have such a large number is also because 0.9 here. If I have less uh, restitution, it's going to go to less distance. Okay, there's a there are a whole bunch of um, extension to this problem. One of the extensions will be how long it goes there before it stops. You may want to do that one out. Okay, that's a good exercise. Uh, another one is what if this was not horizontal? Suppose it was uh, an inclined and I was going to hit it with a, this V0 at this theta. Very similarly, I'm going to bounce up the incline. How far up the incline will I go? Okay, so that's another problem we might want to work it out. Uh, this is a good uh, is a good extension. Uh, I'll stop here. Um, hopefully this time it recorded nice and then. Uh, uh, okay, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to post more videos like this, or more problems. Uh, I'm trying to do one problem a day. Maybe if you do one problem a day, you would be uh, in a good shape in any of this uh, preparation for any of the, these things, okay? Okay, bye.